Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Tim Flynn. I'm the mayor of the city of Oxnard, and I'm here this afternoon or early evening um, to talk about tomorrow evening. And tomorrow evening, the city council uh, will be making a very important, if not momentous, uh, decision. And that decision will be to um, endorse a recommendation by the staff in a study session that the city of Oxnard uh, officially endorsed then a business plan for the takeover of the MRF, which is the uh, facility where all the trash goes through in the city of Oxnard off of Del Norte. It's also known as the Del Norte Recycling Facility. And this um, decision, uh, again, to take over the facility was made about five months ago by the city council. What the city council is going to hear tomorrow night is the assessment by the staff, by the public works department, and a consultant that will say that in the first year of operation, the city will save uh, just short of a million dollars a year and an additional million dollars is going to be saved that's going to be devoted towards the purchasing of equipment uh, because equipment at the facility is you know 15 20 years old so tomorrow night is going to be a very very important evening in the Oxford City Council and we're looking forward to broad uh, public participation and we're hopeful that after tomorrow night that the transition from a uh, private concern uh, running the facility to the city running it uh, will be on the fast track and by January of 2014 the city of Oxnard will be running its own facility and it's very important to stress that the city right now has uh, three components of its uh, trash operation. It has a facility that, uh, that recycles trash currently in the hands of a uh, private contractor. The city has um, haulers who take that trash to dumps and, this, and those are city employees and the city also has trucks that pick up trash in residential and commercial areas that is also under the city's jurisdiction. So really it's kind of a triad and this uh, recycling facility is like the third leg of the triad and uh, again operated by a public or a private concern. Uh, the city will then assume control of this for a facility that is owned by the city, the equipment is owned by the city, it was built by the city, uh, and the city basically is changing managers. It's replacing private contractors uh, with uh, city employees. And again, it is estimated in its first year of operation that a minimum of $1 million will be saved by the city assuming control of this facility, and another $1 million will be saved that will then go into the investment <clears throat> of re habilitating and repurchasing or purchasing equipment that will make this city uh, uh, its trash facility uh, one of the best in the country and the argument is if the city can build and operate one of the most visionary and forward-looking projects like a recycled water facility as we did with a great program the city can do the same thing with trash move in a direction to make sure that the rates that ratepayers make uh, that pay here in the city and in the Port, port of Wainimi, uh, or Port Wainimi, I should say, that those rates uh, are going to go down or remain stable. And also, most importantly, <clears throat> that we're going to move towards zero waste in our city so that the amount of waste that we're putting into landfills, uh, which is still a staggering amount um, each year, um, that that gradually be reduced so that we can get like uh, other models in throughout the United States and, and in Europe and Western Europe where they have zero waste, where they're not disposing of any waste in landfills and instead they're harvesting that trash, making money off of that trash rather than putting it into a landfill. So uh, it's exciting. It's a, it's a new frontier for the city of Oxnard, uh, but again, a lot of hard work and uh, uh, a lot of public participation uh, has been placed in this and put into the process, and we're hopeful that, uh, again, tomorrow night it will be that um, uh, decisive uh, report that shows, again, that it's in the best interest of the ratepayer and the taxpayer that the city assume its control of its facilities. So we want you to be tuned in. Please come down to the city council chambers and have a nice evening.